Aw, oh, man. Looks like it's time to flush my brakes. First, get yourself a jug of brake fluid. Then, undo the cap on your bleeder valve and your caliper. Get yourself a brake bleeding syringe and hose like this and attach it to the bleeder valve. Once your hose and syringe are hooked up, you're going to make sure you have the right brake fluid for your bike. KTMs want this 5.1, and I like Liquid Molly's brand. They're the only one I trust, so that's what I'm running. Next, top off your rear brake reservoir, and then start pumping your rear brake a few times, holding it on the last one. Grab an 8mm wrench, crack the bleeder valve, and fluid will come out. Release the brake lever and pull the fluid through the system with the syringe. But be sure to top off your reservoir with new fluid. You don't want to suck air in. Next, repeat the process of topping off your reservoir and sucking it through the syringe until it's all brand new fluid. Close your bleeder valve, top off your reservoir one more time, and then pump your brakes and hold them down again. Crack the bleeder loose and re-tighten it, and then pump your brakes, and your brakes should be good. Finally, reinstall the reservoir cap, and we're moving on to the front brakes now. For the front, it's the same process, topping off your reservoir and pulling all that fluid through with your syringe until you have all brand new fluid in the syringe. Then squeeze your lever and crack that bleeder loose and re-tighten it like I showed you in the rear to get the air out. Pop off your res and put your cover back on, and your bike has officially got brand new brake fluid, and you're ready to rip, baby.